Hi, this is a little video we're putting together about how to remove the yoke to put on a support strap or a belly strap on an Eddie's Wheels cart. And here is Nina to show you how to do it. Okay, we're going to take the cover off of the support strap to make it easier for you to adjust once you get it on. Just some Velcro there. Move that to the side. First, we're going to pull the pins on the yoke to open up this side. Loose. Now we're going to use the wrench, and in uh, training set screws out, it's helpful to use the small end in there to get more leverage. We're going to have to slide the whole yoke off, or at least up, so that we can get the collets, which are these metal circles, behind. So on this side, I'm slipping the collet on. Now the side with the little piece of Velcro here, that is the side that you're going to put on where the pivoting yoke blocks are. And the side that opens here, that's going to go on the side with the opening blocks on the yoke. With the opening of the strap facing downwards, I'll slip that on. I'm going to slide these pieces back again. Snug that up just lightly. Now see how the uh, yoke block is 90 degrees to the floor perpendicular? That's what we want to see when you're putting them back in position. And you want to line them up so that they're perpendicular with each other, that they're parallel with each other actually. Sorry. Okay, I'm just going to tighten the collet here for now. Now you can see by having this resting in there, in the block on the other side, where this block needs to go back to. Okay, I'm going to readjust this one. Okay, now on this side, what we need to do is take this one off in order to get the collet on. Slip the support strap over the bar. Put this back. Now line it up. So you can see that it's lined up with the remaining block that you left on there, and then tighten it in position. Put the collar up to the strap. Tighten that. Check that your low goes as nicely. Look at that. Perfect. And that's that. <laughs> So would you show how the Velcro undoes? Yeah. Okay. So when you put the dog in the cart the first time, undo all the Velcro. You take the lock off so you can undo it all. That's what that little double-sided piece of Velcro is for, is to lock it on. It's just a little stuck here. There you go. Okay. So then undo all the Velcro, put the dog in the cart, and then reattach the Velcro in a comfortable position so that the cart is uh, it's not squishing the dog between the strap and the yoke. Um, if it's a neutral balanced cart or a counterbalanced cart, place your hand under the yoke and then uh, tighten it, the yoke to your hand. If it's a standard cart and you're doing this to prevent bouncing on a dog who's an amputee, you just want it to be uh, loosely attached so that it mitigates any bouncing of the yoke that might happen from a three-legged dog. There you go. That's it. And we have the cover. Mm -hmm. and, and then you can the put lock. the cover back on and the lock. And the lock prevents the strap from working its way over the collet. That's what it's on that for. Side. Good. Thank you, Nina. Yeah.